Hi, it's Kathy Craft Chica, and I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful bud vases for your Dia de los Muertos ofrenda using air dry clay. Now, I love ceramics, but every so often I like to use air dry clay, and I'm testing out a new brand I haven't tried before. It's called Activa. I think that's how you pronounce it, Activa, Activa. Anyway, I really enjoyed using this clay. It was sent to me and I was excited to try it out. And I just wanted to start with something simple like little bud vases. So I pinched off a piece and I rolled it into a rectangular shape and then into a cone at the top. And I just kept it simple. I used a chopstick, entered it through the top of the little cone there that I made. I also cut the bottom off to make it flat. And once I felt like this was nice and formed, I pushed it down to the bottom. Then I took the back of a large paintbrush and I put that in there just to open it up a little bit so that it would be able to hold a variety of little buds. These are going to be flowers that I'm making from tissue paper and I wanted to be able to either put one or put several so that's why I increased the opening a little bit. Set that aside and then I rolled out a little pinch of the clay, very thin, about an eighth of an inch thick and I'm using my needle tool just to freestyle cut out a little calavera right here. Very simple. Um, I think it's more fun if you freestyle it, just let your intuition guide you. If you don't like how it looks, it's easy. Just start again and make a new one. I really like letting my intuition guide me, or if you feel uncomfortable, you can use a template, which is also easier. Both of them will work. And here I'm using the back of my paintbrush to put the eyes in there. And I'm going back to the needle tool to add the nose and the teeth and other types of indentations into this little skull. I also added a little bit of water to smooth the edges. Now I'm using a scoring tool trying to figure out where I want to put this on this little vase. And I just scored it in the middle and added a little bit of water on both sides so that the two surfaces of the clay would bond together. And I did score both of those, press that little skull in place, and then I'm speeding this up because it's the same type of process, except this time I made some little leaves to go on either side, and I added just some little tiny balls in the middle to look like flowers. I wanna keep the integrity of this clay so I'm not gonna paint the whole thing I really love the brown color but I do want to paint the skull and the leaves and the little flowers that I add on again I'm scoring both sides where the clay ends will meet together to make sure that there's a really nice tight bond I made all of these little vases and then it was time to let them dry. I let them dry for a good couple days. I really wanted them to be bone dry before I added the paint. You could use paint pens. I found it was easier using just regular acrylic paints. The um, paint pens, it was the surface was a little too dry for them to glide across. So I just used my brush and old school craft paints. And again, I just painted the embellishment parts that I added. Once that was all dry, I needed to add a sealer and I couldn't decide if I wanted to leave these matte or to have a little bit of sheen. Now what I love about Mexican pottery, which is what these are inspired by, is they use this type of thin sugar based sealer and I wanted to emulate that look. So I used Mod Podge and it worked absolutely perfect. Here is the end result. It's just a slight gloss and they came out so beautiful. I cannot wait to use these. I made the little tissue flowers to go with them. This is such a great project if you want to try air dry clay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And visit craftychica.com for even more crafty ideas. Thanks, guys. Bye.